they were murdered because someone hated Jews, someone hated someone. That's Mindy Corcoran. 10 years ago, a white supremacist killed her 14-year-old son, Reet, her father, Bill, and another person, Terry Lamano. All three of them were Christian, but they were on Jewish campuses that day in Overland Park. In the decade since that day, Mindy's nonprofit, Seven Days, has focused on spreading kindness. That's what we've been highlighting for the past week in our series, From Hatred to Kindness. But we can't ignore an unfortunate reality. Anti-Semitic hate crimes are up. Sarah Markowitz Schreiber is with the Jewish Community Relations Bureau and American Jewish Committee. Unfortunately, since 2014, anti-Semitism has continued to rise over the past decade or so. The Anti-Defamation League tracks hate crimes nationwide, and their most recent numbers showed nearly 9,000 anti-Semitic incidents nationwide. That's the most since it first started tracking these numbers in 1979. There's a lot of divisions and divisiveness that um, is leading to Jews being targeted often in the same ways that Jews have been for hundreds of years now. Another recent report shows that nearly one in four college students have felt unsafe or uncomfortable on campus because they are Jewish. Every day, Jewish students are encountering anti-Semitism online or anti-Semitism in the form of swastika graffiti or um, really inappropriate quote unquote jokes about the Holocaust or Jewish stereotypes. And we see how those numbers have only increased since the war in Gaza that started a few months ago. But Sarah says even with these increased numbers, there is hope. We have more partners, we have more allies, and that at least, it makes me hopeful that together we're gonna be able to drive out the darkness in the heartland and in, in 10 years, hopefully we'll be in a much better place. Because Mindy and her work with Seven Days have truly shown how hatred can result in kindness. Hate has no boundaries and neither does kindness. Elise Schoenig, KSHB 41 News. Thank you, Elise. And you can find all of our related coverage at KSHB.com. Just click or tap on the section called From Hatred to Kindness 10 Years Later.